Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to put together a quick guide on how to get to Halleck Tree, which is a location you will need to access if you want to battle Melania. I will not show you that boss battle. I will not speak any further about it. So of course, if you want to experience it yourself, it is completely safe. However, in order to get to this location, you will need to go through the Consecrated Snowfield and you will then need to solve a puzzle to get to Halleck Tree. And then navigating Halleck Tree itself is also quite a pain. So I want to do a quick guide, which will take you from the Consecrated Snowfield to the Melania boss fight door and then I'll leave you guys with it. So if you guys do enjoy this, do find it helpful, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. But to begin with, again, as a quick reminder, in order to do this, you will need to have access to the Consecrated Snowfield. I've already done a video on how to activate the secret lift. So if you have not seen this video here, make sure you click on this one. I'll link it in the description box down below. Watch that, get to the Consecrated Snowfield, and then once you're here, you can now follow this guide. With that being said, you then need to turn your attention to the north, to the to the north to the town of Ordina. Once you're here from the site of Grace, what you wanna do is run up the stairs and then from there, you then wanna to get to the top and take a right. Following that, you will take a left, another left, and you'll then make your way straight forward over to an opening. There will be a little sort of gargoyle statue with a book on it. When you examine this, it will say that you need to light the four figures in the Evergal. So with that being said, the thing to the left of it, interact with that, and it will then teleport you into another version of this town. This is quite dangerous because there is an invisible enemy who walks around, so you basically don't want to stop because you can get stabbed in the back. There are also a lot of powerful archers which will also try and kill you, but now that we're in this location, our goal is to light four different candles so what you want to do from your initial starting point run forward jump over the wall and then run straight towards the church you then want to jump up onto the railings on the left hand side so you can basically navigate past the staircase and then climb up this ladder doing so will then allow you to climb up to the second ladder and then from there you can light the first flame it's worth noting if you die whilst inside here do not worry you don't need to relight the flame again once you've lit it once it is lit forever from there, you then want to go back down the ladder, you want to turn around and you then want to cross over to the next rooftop. This one is where you need to be careful because the archers will be pretty brutal. So be ready to roll and be ready to take them out. But cross over to the opposing rooftop and you'll then have a second ladder from there. Climbing that will of course allow you to then go and light the second flame. For the next location, I'm actually going to direct you from here using uh, some more footage I recorded because in my original run, I was sort of being chased by an enemy. But basically from here, you want to drop down the ladder and go back from whence you came. You can drop off the roofs, but basically you want to go back to that staircase that we jumped over the railings and instead go down the staircase. And from there, you want to run to the building straight in front of you. If you go around the back of the building, there'll be a ladder, climb that, and that will then be your third flame. And from there, what you simply need to do is go back to essentially where the site of grace was at the beginning of this area. Because of course, around from there, there is a staircase which you can go up and there's a little hut on the right hand side if you jump over into that that is the fourth and final flame with that lit you will then be teleported back to the regular version of the town and you can then go to the staircase at the back and you can then climb that and it will give you access to a teleporter which will take you to Halleck Tree. Now this location here is very, very powerful. There are a lot of enemies here that will definitely destroy you. So of course, if you want to just explore to your heart's content, then feel free, you can do that. You can of course go and explore it yourself and work out where you wanna go. But if you do wanna get directly to the boss, there is of course a route you can follow to try and bypass as much trouble as possible. So follow the route that you see me taking right now. For the first part, we are gonna be carefully sort of navigating these tree branches to effectively get to the bottom. The one thing you do need to watch out for when you're running down the hill is one of the enemies that fires the sort of magical bubbles. Be careful because they will probably one-shot you or at least be very close to that. So you want to try and avoid that as much as possible. Once you get to the very end of there, you then want to simply roll off onto the platform down below. And then when you walk inside, you'll find your first site of grace. We now have a point we can respawn at. From there, you then want to go out the door that is right in front of you. You want to roll because there'll be an enemy ready to get you. You can ignore the ladder on the left. What we're going to be doing instead is running forwards and rolling off the platform down here to drop below. We're then going to roll down onto the tree branch and we're then going to follow this route through the building. Once you're outside, what you then want to do is go through and jump across a couple of the roofs. And we're then going to go down to the left-hand side, drop down, work our way through another building until we come to an area outside with a few wooden bridges. From there, you can then jump over onto the left-hand platform and you can take the elevator back up to another site of grace, which now gives us a shortcut to get back to here very easily.
From there, you can then turn around and go backwards and take the elevator back down because what we actually want to do is run across the wooden bridge and then take a left over the other bridge and you'll then come into this arena here where you will fight a boss. Not the boss that we're talking about, but it is a mandatory boss you need to get through in order to get to the next location. Again, I won't show you. I'll simply cut to the point where it's been defeated. You can experience that for yourself. From here, grab the Sight of Grace and we're then going to run out the doorway in front of us to then begin the next part of the journey. We're going to take a right, follow the staircase all the way down, take the ladder down. And of course, you then get to a building with a lift in. Before you take the lift, do go up the stairs because there is a chest you can open and that gives you an ancient dragon smithing stone, which of course is the final tier you need to boost your weapon up. So it's definitely a nice item. Take the elevator down to the bottom and you then end up in the brace of the Halleck tree, the next sort of location. From here we're going to run straight across the bridge and of course there is a nice sight of grace inside so you can grab that for another fast travel point. We're then going to take a right outside the door and again some very strong enemies here so you do want to be careful. We're going to go through and basically bypass absolutely everything running down the stairs following the route that I take right now. We're basically going to bypass as many things as possible to the point where we can jump over the edge and of course off onto a lower platform. At this point you want to jump off again and then make a beeline over to the ladder before the enemy spawns that way you can climb the ladder without actually having to deal with it making your life a lot easier. You then want to get to the top and run straight past this big ominous foe and you then want to get inside and you want to take a left. There'll be a Sight of Grace there. Fun little story, when I was there the message was on top of it which basically stopped me from interacting with the Sight of Grace which meant I got killed by the enemies. Once you've done that, you then want to run down the stairs, take a right, and then go up the tree branch, and you will then be able to go through a small break in the wall. Follow the route you see me taking right now. It will involve going over a rotten swamp, so just roll through it, jump, whatever you want to do. You're going to take some scarlet rot, but it's fine. We're not too far from another side of grace, which will, of course, cleanse us. When you're on the other side, go through the door, take the ladder on the way down. And then once you get to the bottom, you can then run into a nice opening. There is a Sight of Grace on the side, which of course will cleanse us. And we are now very nearly there. From here, we're then going to go out the doorway. We're going to take a left and go across all the tree branches again. And we're basically just going to follow this route that you see me taking now. At this point, is pretty straightforward. You'll get inside a church. We'll drop down. We'll take a left. We'll run through a door. Get to the bottom. There'll be a lift, which will take us downstairs to another site of grace. And we are now here. From this location you can simply run straight ahead from the site of grace and that'll take you to the boss room and that will be Melania. Good luck, have fun, but that's as much as I'm going to show you. You guys can experience this for yourself. So hopefully that was helpful. If you guys did enjoy it, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any more questions and be sure to check out this video if you've missed our latest Elden Ring upload.